But let's get back to the market. In the last few days, the pharma space has been buzzing quite a bit. Ekta is here to tell us why she's tracking Piramal Pharma and Glenmark Pharma. Ekta, over to you. Thanks for that. Well, I'll start with Glenmark because uh, that stock is in focus on the back of a bit of news. So Zetia is basically a uh, is uh, basically a drug which is used for the treatment of cholesterol. And what has taken place is that in a pending antitrust and consumer protection litigation in the U.S. on Zetia generic. Glenmark was named as a defendant. So what has taken place is that the company has agreed to enter a settlement with a group, uh, with a party um, which was litigating against Glenmark on Zetia Generic. As per the settlement, the company is going to pay $48 billion to direct purchasers, which is basically the group which uh, is a part of this litigation, based on the agreement entered. The trial, remember, for this case was scheduled to begin on April 19th in the U.S. courts. Now, just to give you a bit of a background as well, there have been multiple lawsuits in the U.S. in connection with generic Zetia all the way since 2010. Lawsuits allege that the company had entered into an anti-competitive agreement. So there was a pending lawsuit with regards to Zetia generic, which is now settled, and the company is going to be paying $48 million in terms of the settlement. It does come as a positive because there's an overhang which is out of the way and this is a general, generally a normal course of business for most pharma companies. Remember, the amount uh, which we've spoken of is not that large in terms of a sum. So hence, maybe the street has brushed it off. Glenmark is anyway close to a 52-week high. Piramal Pharma is in focus because the US FDA has concluded the inspection of the company's Sellersville manufacturing facility. They've issued an establishment inspection report, which means that the inspection has concluded successfully. Now, this is important because this has been one of the USPs for Piramal Pharma, that they have an excellent track record when it comes to the US FDA. They, in fact, have closed all four US FDA in inspections since November 2022 successfully, which includes the Digbal facility, Riverview, Lexington, and now sellers will. So this is definitely a positive for Pyramal Pharma. Remember, the stock is also corrected very significantly from that listing price of around 200 rupees odd last year. And maybe there is some amount of value buying that the street is recognizing with regards to their track record. Okay, <clears throat> thanks a lot for that. So uh, that's on Pyramal Pharma. But